This video is about how you can avoid, and your friends and loved ones can avoid, the lethal COVID and flu cytokine storm. Now, the odds are pretty strong you'd never heard of the cytokine storm before, unless you've been following the uh, you know, scientific kind of mainstream media information. And the word cytokine storm has appeared there. So what are cytokines? Well, in this image of this tornado, I have placed four of way more than 30 various cytokines. These are the most famous pro-inflammatory cytokines. Underlining them now, IL stands for interleukin. So it goes from interleukin 1 up to, I think, 33 now, and there's more because TNF, which is tumor necrosis factor, is also a cytokine. Now, when someone gets infected with the flu or with COVID or with the coronavirus that causes COVID, if you're flamed up enough, you can manifest the storm, which is a super hyper excess of cytokines being produced. And that's, what's, that's what kills people in hospitals. So we're going to kind of go through it a little bit step by step here. So how long have we known about the storm? Well, for certainly before 2016. Cytokine storm, severe influenza. I don't know how long the term cytokine storm has been around for. I've known about cytokines for many, many years. They are pro-inflammatory proteins. So here you can say, what are cytokines? Well, they are pro-inflammatory signaling proteins. They're released by immune cells during infection, trauma, and other stressors. When in, when in super excess, they use the term cytokine storm. And of course, as I said before, it can be lethal. So stressors turn on cytokine production, and that promotes chronic inflammation. If it's bad enough, the storm can manifest. What are the lifestyle factors that can push someone toward creating in their body the big old storm that could basically end their lives? Here are multiple cumulative stressors that most people have. The av now, this is shocking. The average American gets almost 60% of their calories. There's your percent. Get the percent looking there. There you go. 60% of calories come from refined sugar, flowers, and oils. Horrific. They become obese. The average person doesn't sleep enough in America. It's, if, if you look at it, the various sleep literature is like a is like a horrific pandemic problem of sleep loss. Smoking, I don't know the odds the odds of the average person smoking, but certainly more than we should. Sudden avoidance means low vitamin D. Most people suffer from mental and emotional stressors. Inflammation is the language that has been created by scientists to describe what occurs to us when we age. So I'm 60 now. When I was 40, I was less inflammaged. So I feel less well than I did when I was 40. Well, I will feel less well when I'm 80 if I reach 80 or 90 because, well, that's what happens and then you die. Sedentary living turns on the flame. And then, of course, chronic pain, very, very common scenario. So initially, all these stressors create a little bit of cytokine production. And eventually, it becomes more intense. And if you're unlucky enough, you can end up with the storm that will hospitalize you and potentially kill you. Complete, absolute nightmare. So the deflame nutrition world is about getting rid of these calories and avoiding re reversing obesity. Sleep loss, that's a tough one. Smoking, you can do. Sun avoidance, easy. Choose your stressors wisely. Avoid the ones that you know are problematic for you and you know that you can avoid. You should avoid them. Aging, we cannot avoid aging, but we can certainly avoid pro inflammation and live healthy lifestyles for the entirety of a 90-year-old life and be healthy without chronic disease. Got to keep moving obviously. And then chronic pain is just a manifestation of inflammation. 
So what is the D-Flame approach? Well, obviously, since this is a, this is a D-Flame YouTube channel, I've written D-Flame books, my suggestion is to read this book that tells you how foods create inflammation. This book explains to you how those same foods create a hyperinflammatory immune state. And obesity is a huge inflammatory problem. This book is about how to, to create a strong mind so that you can maintain a proper weight throughout your life. So this is my brother. I'm the oldest of four. He's 10 years younger than I. He's 50. We're coming upon 50 in 2021. He was 340 pounds at one point because of, well, multiple problems. You can go to his website called Diagnosis Dystonia, and you can see his, his story. It's an amazing story. He was 340 here, and now he's 190 here, and he's been 190 since 2007. So if you, have, if you think you can't control your weight, you're just not understanding what weight loss or weight management is about. My brother, who cannot really exercise the way the average person can because he has spasmodic torticollis, also called cervical dystonia, can't run around, can't do it, I can't even play golf because of all the different problems that have developed because of his dystonia, he has managed to drop his weight from 340 in 07. He was, he was 190 about two years before then, but he just lost it because of his dystonia. And then he changed his mind, changed his focus, and now he has been this guy since 2007. Absolutely unbelievable. A great read, worth reading this book. And then supplements. Now you can see key supplements. These supplements I would have recommended long before COVID emerged. Why? Because they reduce, they reduce inflammation, and that's what COVID is. That's what the flu, beta reaction to flu is. Diabetes, hypertension, cancer heart disease, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. They're all chronic pro-inflammatory conditions. So to me, we should all be taking all or some of these supplements. The key would be D, C. You can take a multi to get zinc. Take fish oil. Either eat or supplement with ginger turmeric. Supplement with magnesium. Eat anti-inflammatory foods, which contain natural drivers of probiotic proliferation. And then, of course, CoQ10. If you're to take three, what I would suggest is D3 mag. Those are the biggest. If you're in this era, vitamin C would be a good, a, a good option. So very simple, very uncomplicated, but you got to get your weight normal. That is key. And get rid of all these pro-inflammatory lifestyle factors. And the odds of having a cytokine storm from flu or COVID it is absolutely remote. You can protect yourself, your family members, all the people you love, and your patients from dying from COVID because you can avoid the cytokine storm, which is the killer for your viral infections like the flu and COVID. So if you like this information, you can head over to the my, my Amazon section, which contains my five books. Easiest way to get there is, well, you can just look at this and get there, or you can go right to dflame.com and click through to get the various books. And you can see if you want to get volume discounts, very easy to get volume discounts. There they are. Each book has volume discounts available through dflame. Single books typically go right through, link right through to Amazon. So if you like this information, you should totally like my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. You can click right through from the dflame dot com homepage. Very, very simple to do and keep up to date. Very simple. And you can also get to my my Facebook page and you can sign up for my my email list, which I send out very sporadically. I need to send one out soon. So you can sign up there as well.